Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and today I will show you how I beat the devil in me using ChatGPT's guide. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video and enjoy the show. Since ChatGPT is so uncultured to recall any games past 2021, I asked the AI for a survival guide to a horror movie to improve my odds in beating this game. It told me to stay in a well-populated area considering a serial killer was on the loose. However, the two newlyweds, Jeff and Marie, insisted on checking in at the most secluded and barren hotel owned by H.H. Holmes to make the most of their honeymoon. Noticing no guests in sight and Mr. Holmes's off-putting Demenor, I had my suspicions that he was a serial killer. You should never trust someone who looks like Pringles man. I sure do hope I don't get murdered in this hotel. The AI suggested sticking together but as Jeff, Marie wanted me to leave her alone for her bubble bath. She forgot to lock the bathroom door so I let nature take its course instead of reminding her. <laughs> Mistakes have been made! It turns out Mr. Holmes did indeed murder his guests and hung for it till death do us part. The curator wouldn't leave me alone by giving me a repetitive, painful spiel about how my actions have consequences. Let me in the game! They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. We're now five members of a documentary film crew from Lonnet Entertainment covering this murderer, and I as a narrator wonder why I sound like an individual with multiple personalities. Anyways, Charlie Lonnet got a phone call from Grantham Dumet to film at his estate, which was a duplicate copy of the murder hotel. The AI suggested not trusting him, as we don't know his intentions. Charlie, the gullible man that he is, refuses to listen to my warnings and instructs us to trust Dumet without doing a background check on him. Thanks to our intelligent boss, we are phoneless, but at least we'll film good content. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. Even if situations go south, we could devise a survival strategy due to being informed about this home serial killer right? Right? Why aren't you answering? As we arrived at the estate, we encountered disturbing sightings like animatronics, a secret groundskeeper, a little girl, and a nervous Dumet who happens to be running away. That's not Dumet, is it? But the most disturbing sight from this hotel was, drum roll please, glitches, falling through the maps. I'm stuck in the other dimension, someone please help. Characters losing a sense of direction. Kate. Regardless of these obvious warnings to leave the hotel, the crew members had peanut-sized brains to not comprehend these warnings and stayed there. But despite the scary situation, I was cool as a cucumber. Maybe. As the crew was filming, the AI told me to observe my environment for later. Therefore, I submitted to my intrusive thought to touch this H.H. Holmes hat sitting suspiciously on a pedestal. Erin hears crying down the hallway from her bedroom. The AI advised me not to investigate strange noises alone. So as Erin, I investigated alone with the mic. This led to our first encounter with the real Dumet. Oh no 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 no! I told the crew about my horrific experience and how I didn't want to be left alone. So here's what the crew did. They left me alone, in the room. <laughs> Some friends they are. They belong to the streets. More stressful situations arise when we see a bloody trail, a man getting run through with a scythe, walls separating the crew, and children crying. And all that Kate is worried about is her crystals. As Aaron, we investigate the Silver Ash Institute and find evidence about an FBI agent named Monday, leading me to the conclusion that he was in fact the real Dumet, the murderer. The AI suggested that I avoid dangerous situations in that room, so I narrowly avoided those creepy surgeon mannequins. <laughs> but the AI failed to warn me about the upcoming danger. A completely broken game. I lost my sanity during the next 30 minutes circling around the same room while listening to the same recording over and over in hopes of progressing the game. Something snapped within me. It brought out the devil in me. As Charlie, we escaped a jail cell only to find ourselves in a chamber with a pack of cigarettes. No, Charlie, don't do it. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. 
The killer knew about his nicotine addiction and wanted to help him quit by giving him a unique experience as a human cigarette. Fire engulfs the room and Charlie searches for a way out. The AI told me that being physically fit would aid in my survival, but my boy Charlie was built like a twig. Thanks to my workout music, he was able to lift the grates. Mark, Kate, and Jamie are searching for Erin in a mental asylum, but Mark doesn't seem to be in a rush to rescue her. Mark, you walk so slow. This Saw movie progressively gets more bizarre. The Walmart Phantom of the Opera chases Aaron into one of his traps as part of his calculative plan. Kate, hearing Aaron scream, ends up in the same trap that sucks oxygen out of their rooms. Jamie and Mark have difficulty in making the important decision of who to kill, but that decision wasn't really difficult for me. Kate can leave this room with her crystals. Unfortunately, due to plot armor, she survived. The killer separates us again and Mark finds himself in the basement with his handiwork. Thanks to those years of gaming on Minecraft and Dying Light 1, we managed to craft ourselves a weapon. All oh, those years paid off! As Jamie, we've discovered the truth that Monday was actually the murderer, a law abider who turned into a psychopath. Ah! Oh! Charlie survives being cooked to a lawn at roast and attempts to reconnect with the group. He reads a sign about the dangers of conveyor belts, so we took the serious message to heart and climbed it in hopes of reaching Narnia. Let's say that we didn't make it to Narnia. As Jamie, Aaron, Kate, and I plotted to trap the killer in his walls. We managed to trap the killer, but I've also trapped myself with the killer and led the killer to my friends. <gasps> Jamie! Kate and I ended up in another trap where we decide who the wall should crush. So I did this. <laughs> oh. Dumet wouldn't stop pursuing us, so as Kate, I tried to lose him through the roofs. The killer then got Jamie, so I saved her, picked up a steel pipe, and tripped the killer into falling off the roof. I went to his body to check if he was dead, and like a final boss with no health bar, he shakes the injury off and chases us into a maze. Aaron explains the rationale behind not revealing his voice. It was because he was an introvert. So we weaponized that knowledge by inviting him to social excursions? They called it selectively mute. Like, I could talk, but I chose not to. As Aaron, I'm surrounded by Dumet clones with the real Dumet perfectly performing the mannequin challenge. You're outdated as fuck. As Jamie, Kate and I find a dog and protect it from the killer. Mark finds a boat key and powers the lighthouse. The crew reunites again and escapes from Dumet only to find a police cruise. The officer for some reason wanted to question us in a murder scene and died shortly. The scene feels familiar. We hopped onto a boat and drove away. Due to having lungs of steel, the killer held his breath in the water for a while before climbing onto to the boat. We are great in number, so we easily overpowered him. Dumet is officially done for. He won't be coming back anytime soon. Or is he? <laughs> the authorities find the crew, and they are escorted safely. And there is our happy ending. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this, like the video, and comment what you think of the video. Thank you for watching, and that's all an all-expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun.